Hi, my name is Claudio Salmi. I'm a consulting system engineer at Fortinet. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to orchestrate a FortiGate VM using heat orchestration template and how to do configuration management using Ansible playbook. This is my Red Hat OpenStack installation. I'm currently using Tenant01. If I navigate inside of my network topology, you will see that I have an external network that allows the VM deployed in my tenant to communicate with the external world and have a router connected to the external network. Now, I want to deploy my infrastructure using heat orchestration templates. Inside of the heat orchestration template, I define an internal management network, a private 01 network, and a private 02 network. Then I define a FortiGate VM. In the FortiGate VM definition, I specify a user data file. This user data file contains a set of CLI commands I want to apply to the FortiGate VM at boot time. I also have a personality. The personality allows me to specify a license file that is applied to the FortiGate VM at boot time. I then have three networks connected to the FortiGate, internal management, private 01, and private 02. Together with the FortiGate VM, I also deploy a Cirrus 01 connected to my private 01 network and a Cirrus 02 connected to my private 02 network. Let me show you the content of the user data file. You will see that it, it contains very basic initial configurations. Firstly, I specify the host name and then I set port 1, port 2 and port 3 in the HCP mode. The last configuration is the DNS setting. I now need to run the OpenStack command that triggers the stack creation. So it will execute my heat orchestration template. So you can see that the sta status is creating progress. And in a matter of seconds, I will have my infrastructure created on OpenStack. If I run OpenStack stack list, my stack status is created complete. And in the background, you see that my infrastructure has been correctly created. So I have my internal management network. I have my FortiGate VM. I have my Zero One VM. I have my private Zero One network my private 02 network and my 002 network. What I need to do now is to connect to the FortiGate VM. In order to connect to the FortiGate VM, I need to assign to it a routable IP address. A routable IP address is called floating IP in OpenStack. So I associate a floating IP to my FortiGate VM and I can now connect to the web interface. Once connected to the FortiGate, you will see that it has host name that I have specified the user data file, and then it has a license file correctly assigned to it, the one that I specify in my heat orchestration template. But it doesn't have any IPv4 policy. To create an IPv4 policy, I'm going to use an Ansible playbook. In particular, in this file, you can see how I specify the IP address of the FortiGate VM I want to connect to and Ansible commands that allow me to push a firewall policy into my, into my FortiGate. So I now need to run Ansible playbook and call the file name. And this is going to trigger API call to the FortiGate and create an IPv4 policy. If I now refresh the PV4 policy menu on the FortiGate, you can see that my firewall policy has been correctly created. This concludes my demonstration. So what we have seen is how easy it is to orchestrate a FortiGate VM using heat orchestration template. In the heat orchestration template, we can provide a user data file with initial CLI commands for the FortiGate, 
and also a license file so that the VM is configured and licensed at boot time. And then the additional configuration can be executed using Ansible playbook. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Bye.